Before that world was respecting United States because they were exporting democracy, helping poor people, but now they are killing poor people. Alone in past three months in Afghanistan, they bombarded wedding parties, celebrations, they killed innocent men, women and children indiscriminately. And I don't believe in this kind of democracy. The administration's policy in the world, whether that's in Afghanistan, whether in Iraq, it's failing. We don't trust the United States policy anymore. We don't trust in democracy anymore. We don't trust in uh, uh, their policy, uh, peace for all. It's a state-sponsored terrorism. We are there in Afghanistan, according to the Bush administration, to get rid of uh, to so-called terrorism in Afghanistan, which those Taliban, Osama, that they themselves created at one time, now they are there to get rid of them, but they instead killing innocent men, women, and children, and they are committing the terrorism, and that's called terrorism. We want the Americans, we want the Afghan people, Afghan Americans, to get together, let's raise our voice, and use the freedom of speech of this country and tell those people in the administration their deaf ears to listen to the Afghan people's voice. Otherwise, history will repeat itself and the, uh, the Afghans will get rid of American army and their so-called ally armies from Afghanistan. Yeah. I want you, this is a start for all you Afghans. It's a start for you. Let's be together. Let's raise our voice. Let's demonstrate. Let them know. And one time I remember the United States was uh, claiming that they will go to Afghanistan and they will build Afghanistan. Nation building was their slogan. But today instead they are demolishing Afghanistan. When Afghan civilians are killed and the U.S. government says only seven people were killed and cell phone videos alone show dozens and dozens of children lying lifeless, looking asleep with their heads half blown out, there's a definite problem, especially when a lot of the major news organizations don't report it. I feel like it's our duty, I feel like it's an American's duty, a human's duty, to stand up and point this out, to let everybody know what's up, to tell them that we will not take any more of this, because the Afghan people loved us when America entered the war, when America entered Afghanistan and kicked the Taliban out, but now they hate us. I am Tahira, uh, one of uh, Afghan live in California, and we de do this mas demonstration about the bombers in uh, Afghanistan, the poor people, and we are very, very sad. We are like this. Stop the bomb. Please. Stop the bomb. Please. We need support. None of terrorism between these 13. No Afghan terrorist was there. None Afghan was terrorist. Why our country is bombing? Who's bombing our country? US, US and NATO. US government. And the US government. US government put a bomb in my country. But in this country, some animal is to happen. And then uh, Afghanistan, a lot of people died for nothing. For what reason to die now, my country people? Because I put this for to not put it bomb units, uh, U, uh, U.S. Uh, government for the bomb my country, my people. Why? Was my name is Abdullah. And, and where do you live? I live in the Santiago. Are you a U.S. citizen? Yes. So are you gonna, how do you feel about uh, Obama? Are you going to vote? How do you feel about Obama? No, I don't want Obama. Obama, anybody go to vote because everybody come to put the bomb my country again. His speech, Obama said he's going to take the troops out of Iraq and send them to Afghanistan. Yeah. How do you feel about that? It's a sad story. This is a sad story to put in my country again to Obama or anybody come to put more bomb in my country. They That's should it. stop bombing okay. as soon as possible. They have gone innocent or uh, killed without any reason. The whole world should listen to Afghan voice and should take care of their 
where we want democracy. We don't want our people to be under bombardment. Afghan people need peace. Afghan people need to live uh, prosperously, not like this. They are humil humiliated. Their, their voices are not heard. We are here, the world, to know what we are, uh, we are uh, taking care of Afghans. We are looking after them. We are looking after the Afghan interest, the whole world peace. I just returned from Afghanistan a couple months ago. I work in different hospitals, um, in different villages, uh, Kabul and outside of Kabul. And what I really see, it is uh, quite disturbing and quite sad. Many innocent uh, people, men, women, children are all killed under name of democracy and for search of terrorism. I think I'm quite sad and sympathetic to uh, the issue of 9-11. It was a horrible thing that happened in our country. Uh, but I have to honestly tell you that we have to think about the world, the part of the world that 9-11 is happening every day practically. There are thousands of innocent Afghan or killed under the name of searching for Taliban. They call it Taliban. I, I, I really and honestly think it will be incredibly important if the United States will pay more attention to this issue and recognize what is really going on, who is Taliban and what Taliban means. Anybody who is really uh, against the ideology of the present government or United States, uh, that doesn't mean that they are Taliban. They're, they are innocent people, they are innocent uh, father, husbands, children that are actually uh, have a small little village and uh, try to make their life uh, to really go and kill and bombard them and when they have their religious and uh, wedding ceremony uh, to destroy them under the name of Taliban and searching for Al-Qaeda, I think it's quite unfair. This is my country. I'm very proud of this country. Uh, American people are great. My family is American. But what is really happening, I'm quite shameful of that. I must say that I love Obama, all his policies, everything he says, and I will vote for him. But when I hear that we need more uh, soldiers, in Af more American soldiers in Afghanistan, I I'm going to take a pause. Uh, as I mentioned before, I just returned from Afghanistan in small villages in Kabul, outside of Kabul. People are really peace-loving people. People are tired of war for 30 years. And I think we have to help them in terms of education, in terms of health, uh, cultural exchanges, things of that nature, not to bring more armies and more soldiers in Afghanistan to go and kill. And unfortunately, very unfortunately, our young people that goes from this country, we have to look at them. Who are they? These are very unfortunate soldiers. These are very unfortunate families that they put their children uh, under these circumstances that they go and fight in those countries. Your brother and my son will not go. The senator and congressman children will not go. These are the very poor and unfortunate children of this country that goes and involved in this war. And they're not soldiers. They have no cause to respect it. They do things that is unethical to that country, to that culture. And I think as we were surrounding before with the, with the loud voice, first, I don't think we should have this war. But if it is a war, let's think about it to be a little more human. Why do you let my country cry? Why the people have to die? Why the fields are so dry? Let it rain, rain. Where the faith has gone, now one resists the pain. But its face too strong. It's the land of the proudest people in the world. Yeah. Everything is honor and it's not just a word. Not a 30 years war, our flag is full of blood. Is it the price of peace that we fight in the jihad?